So a lot of you have gotten to see the new poster on the Dragon Ball Super movie. And a lot of you have given a negative feedback. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all for thinking that, you know, what was discovered today was nothing more than a troll. But in all actuality, it's not. And if you guys haven't, don't even know what I'm talking about, well, the new poster for the Dragon Ball Super movie that comes out in December has came out. And it reveals a character that is beloved by many, hated by many more, but we're finally going to have him. And even Toriyama has made comments on it. And I'm going to read those comments before I get anywhere else. Everyone. Are you familiar with Broly? He's an incredibly strong Saiyan who only appeared in the old anime movies, and apparently, and I apparently had least drew this design for him, but I had practically no involvement with the anime at the time, so I had totally forgotten about the story content. So about Broly. I hear these days he's still very popular not only in Japan, but also overseas. Based on that, my editor suggested we have Broly appear in the next movie. I went ahead and watched the movies from back then, and I felt that this could be, could be quite interesting once I got right to work trying my hand at a story that incorporated him into the Dragon Ball Super franchise I mean, series. While keeping in mind Broly's classic image so fondly in the more fascinating Broly, naturally you'll get to see fierce combat, but also the encounter between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. It also involves the Frieza Force and the history of the Sands, which end up giving having a major connection to everything. The story content turns out to be very large scale and dramatic. Here comes that almighty Sand Broly. I'm also including lots of other content all you fans will enjoy, so look forward to it and be patient a while longer for all to come together. Now. If you guys understood, it's Broly. Broly has gained a lot of popularity in the U.S. or in America in general, well, the, the Americas. I'm sorry, and in Japan, not so much. It's more of a gag character, from what I've understood. But personally, Broly has been an interesting character. I've honestly not watched it in sub. I watched it in dub. I even met the voice actor for uh, Broly, uh, Vic Magnana, great person. Uh, of course, Broly isn't the thing that I know him for. Uh, he, I've known him for other works that he's done, but he pulls off a great, great Broly. And to have him come back, hopefully he's also the person who will do the voice for Broly again. You know, it, it's cool to have this character just come back. Uh, yes, he's already had three movies, but the third one, I don't even want to count because it's like a horrible joke to that character. I did not like it. I mean, Broly itself, Bio Broly, if you watch that movie, it's not even really Broly. Like, it's just some kind of blob monster. Or the blob monster from Teen Titans, if you guys are familiar with that. And honestly, I feel like it's a, an interesting way to say... Oh, well, from Akira Toriyama's point, like, hey, I can incorporate this character now uh, to the story. But for me, uh, as a person that loves Dragon Ball, I find it kind of strange. I don't hate it, honestly. I don't hate that the movie's about Broly. The, the community has been in an uproar because of, you know, the whole canon situation. Now, Geekdom himself says, you know, I'm quoting him, that canon isn't a word that should be used. And honestly, it shouldn't, because uh, whether it is canon or not, and here's a actual the actual poster, and clearly you can we can all see Broly. So I mean, in the po poster itself, right there, we also look like a uh, Yamcha look-alike, but it's Broly. It's just designed differently. But canon it shouldn't be a, a word used in Dragon Ball, because honestly, it it just generates debates. Uh, just to kind of sum it up. Uh, honestly, I, I'm looking forward to this movie uh, even more because it's it's going to be a different anime style. I mean, uh, animation style, excuse me. And not only that, but we're going to have a character that we're familiar with, 
but we're gonna have more not it's not just going to be like the origin of broly or anything of that sort we're going to have some more characters we were already introduced with three characters okay so that's something to look forward to freeze is going to be involved in this somehow so it just it really makes it interesting for me to see all these characters that we're familiar with just be part of this movie and we're going to have goku and vegeta going Super Saiyan Blue, and I'm not not sure if we're going to see Ultra Instinct, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of power Broly's going to have to be able to match against Goku and Vegeta. So, uh, while everyone is complaining and while everyone is looking at it as a kind of a waste of time, personally, it does not take any interest away from me. And I think that that's something that people really need to kind of chill with i mean akira has talked about you know bringing other surprises so well let's look forward to it i mean there's a lot of things that could be coming up in the next upcoming months and the movie can hold even more surprises who knows we might even have broly in part of the series now now that's just my thoughts in general guys on the whole situation but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because that's more important to me but as always guys stay safe and i will catch you later Oh, 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 oh,